Hey guys, um, okay, I'm not bald, I promise, I put my hair up, I know it looks like I like totally shaved my head. Um, so today is Wednesday, <sighs> we're supposed to be getting Apollo's urn back today, um, I don't know, I, I can't explain how I feel about it, I'm, I guess I'm kind of excited to see his urn and have him back, but, you know, I'm sad because of everything. Um, so, today was my appointment to get everything kind of more figured out <laughs> better than my other doctor's appointment with the rheumatologist, and it went good, and I'm getting referred to a specialist. Um, yeah, and on the paper that we had to fill out, it said, in the past two weeks, have you felt any depression? And I'm like, yeah, if you want to count Monday, I'm pretty depressed. Um, I guess I'm somewhere in the five stage stages of griefing, griefing, wow, grieving, I'm in, like, the depression stage or whatever. And I don't think I'm ever going to accept the fact that he's gone. So I guess I'm always going to be grieving for everything. So, yeah, that's that's what today is. Um, I, um, after I got back from my appointment... We went downstairs with the family while well, my dad's at work. Um, and we painted the nursery room for our dog's babies. So, I got paint all over me. Like, legit paint everywhere. It's, like, covering me. I even got it right here. Like, it was covered right there. And... Yeah, I painted my brother's hair on accident, and it was a bright blue, so the blue is about that color right here, that light blue. So, like, the tip of his hair was, like, all blue, and it was pretty funny, so. Yeah, just, I don't know, having a bad day. I just want to sleep all day. I haven't been to school at all this week. I didn't go yesterday, and I didn't go today because my appointment, and of course I didn't go Monday. So, yeah, I haven't gone to school at all. I'll be going to school tomorrow, and then I get a three-day weekend because we get Friday off because of Veterans Day. So, yeah, just, ugh having a bad day. I feel like crap. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. I mean, who would? I just, I'm scared I'm gonna break down. That's what I did when I lost my ferret. I know, big whoop, it's a ferret, but seriously, that was my first pet, and he was the coolest ferret ever. And I had him for 13 years and I wasn't nearly as close to him as I was to Apollo so and I had a breakdown in class even a week after he died and I wasn't as close to him as I was to Apollo so I'm scared <laughs> that I'm gonna have a breakdown Honestly, I think it's just harder when people ask you if you're okay because then you're like, yeah, I'm okay. And then your emotions are like, you are not okay. And then, ha, ah, floodgates. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just not looking forward to tomorrow. But I know I'll get through it. I'm going to be okay. I just have to keep telling myself that. Even if I'm lying to myself, I'm going to be okay. Um... I really do miss him, because he was a really cool dog. Like, I can't explain how awesome he was. He was the coolest dog in the world. 
and sure he was an old grump sometimes but he loved his kids it just makes me sad that he wasn't gonna be that he can't be here for Christmas because we were gonna make this Christmas so special for him and we, you know we were gonna bring him to Montana one last time before we had to put him down in January so it really didn't save us money honestly it was four hundred dollars for everything for the cremation and everything so yeah we didn't exactly save money and you know I just I it isn't I'm like really angry because we I've just thought about this and last week um, I was staying the night at my friend's house, and I got news that my, for that, um, so my parent, my mom's friend told me that my mom apparently said that we were going to be putting Apollo down, like, this week, by the time it was next week, um, and then I called my mom and she said no, and this is the week that I thought that he was going to be put down. And he died. And I don't know. I just. What a coincidence. So I'm just like. I don't know. I've, I'm have i in a mixed feeling kind of stage. This morning I thought I heard him. Yeah. I was in bed. And I thought I heard him doing his. Oh, oh, oh. And I got so happy because I'm like, Apollo's here. And then I realized, no, he's not. You know, I thought that I was just dreaming. And I was really hoping that I was dreaming, but I didn't. And now, and then when I realized that wasn't a dream, I wanted to cry again because I'm like, no. So. I don't know, because he would always, like, do his howling, like, he, when he, when you would talk to him, he'd be like, oh, row, row, and just talk to you, and you're like, really? And he's like, yeah, and it was, I don't know, it was, like, so cheerful. It always made my day when he would just start howling at me, like, give me attention, give me food, I want food, <laughs> give me attention, I want a belly rub. Oh, scratch my ear. <laughs> yeah, that was him. The coolest German Shepherd ever. So. I don't know how things are going to go with not having a German Shepherd in the house. Because I've always had a German Shepherd. We've always had a German Shepherd. And now we don't. So. It's kind of weird. I know it's only been a couple days, but it is really, really weird. And it's hard to go about your day and then go home and you're like, I can't wait to see Apollo, and then he's not there. So, I know I know that, like, a lot of you guys have probably most likely dealt with losing an animal. And, like, out of all the animals that you've lost, there's always that one animal that you're so close to and it really hits you hard. Yeah, that, that was, Apollo is that animal. He's the one that you're really close to. It's harder when you have a special connection. At least I think so. Out of all the animals I've lost, Apollo's been the hardest. And I've lost a lot of animals. Like, seriously. Now, I'm just sitting here tired just want to go to bed, just sleep away this day, just end the day, and wake up tomorrow, and then go to school, and then come home, have my friends stay the night, then I stay the night at my friend's house on Friday, then on Saturday, we go to Montana, 
so that we can pick up a truck from my great-grandpa because he's got Alzheimer's and he keeps trying to drive the truck and he can't. <laughs> so my dad is getting his truck. Yeah, so that's going to be Saturday and Sunday that we're going to be over there. And I get to hug my grandma, and I get to give her hugs and kisses and cry with her. Because, yeah. My grandma always makes me cry whenever we talk about, like, animals that have passed away. She always makes me cry. So I can just count on crying on Sunday and Saturday. Little fart. The old fart. And we're going to spread some ashes up there. So, I've got a busy, busy week. Or weekend. So, hi, it's my Mira. Mira and Gizmo have definitely been helping. She's comfort. Yeah. I love my dogs. I would be, I don't know what I would do without them. I think that dogs are amazing, and you need them, because how else are you supposed to get through things without that special pet? In my case, I got two. I got two special pets. Do and I. Well, I got a lot more. These are my special pets. Gizmo, Mira, Sam, Ellie, Aria, and Gabriel. And Apollo will always be my special animal. He's always going to be in my heart. I know he's not gone. He's right here. And he's going to stay there. And I just wait for him. Or he's waiting for me. And seriously, he better be saving me some steak. Because he knows I love steak. Steak is mine. Like, he would get in so much trouble whenever he'd sneak up and say, this is my steak. And I'm like, nope. No. <laughs> but he was always so good at sneaking stuff. He would always sneak food. And it's like... <sighs> I swear, he was he was too smart for his own good. And... I'm like, you know, one of these days, Apollo. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> so. I keep saying so, like, all the time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, almost said it. I'm going to end this video. Um, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to recommend any challenges, I guess, then go ahead and do so. I said so. So, so, so. So. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and if you had a special, special animal that passed away, go ahead and you can talk a little bit about them down below if you want to. And yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I know that these past few videos have probably been pretty depressing, and I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be depressing. I just... Oh, I'm so depressed. Um, yeah. You guys will see me in my next video. Which will be whenever we get the urn. Um, I think we'll get it tonight. If not tonight, then definitely tomorrow. I don't know when. But I'll make a video. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um... Bye.